You may have seen last week that an 18-year-old was arrested for shooting a shotgun in McDonald's parking lot in Ammon. Now, remember, I did not see that. We so we drove by on a late on a Friday or Saturday night this right. summer, and we saw all these kids. A horde, I in, would say, a horde of kids. <laughs> yeah. In trucks and cars, mm -hmm. just parked basically in between Albertsons on hit mm -hmm. and McDonald's on hit. Yeah, basically tailgating without the food. There were some that were sitting in a truck bed on lawn chairs. Right. Which I thought was really funny. So I thought this was interesting because when I was on the cruise, uh -huh. on the cruise in the uh, 80s, uh -huh. the cruise was the Northgate Mile yeah. area. Mm -hmm. There was a country club mall there. Right. And... I remember a parent saying to me, oh, well, back when I was a kid in the 60s, generationally speaking now, mm -hmm. um, the cruise was on First Street. Yeah, I could see that. So the cruise moved from First Street to Northgate Mile mm -hmm. in the 90s, I believe it was 17th. I would say so, yeah. All the kids cruised up and down to see and be seen. Right, right. To see and be seen. Yeah. Is the acronym I like to use for it, even though that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> Um, and now it appears as if the new hangout spot is between Albertsons mm -hmm. and McDonald's in that parking lot. Right. Now, that being said, I'll also say that I definitely see some teens cruising on Sunnyside, too. Okay. And I've seen some. And some racing over there. Doing like a little car show, an impromptu uh -huh. car show in the Winco parking lot. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Interesting. Although I think that's like a club. Okay. Maybe so. Yeah. All right. A little less impromptu than it looks. I thought kids were all just Snapchatting each other these days and that was it. But, and, and I think for a good 10 years, it may have been that way. Mm -hmm. But it's, is it cool to see the kids getting back together? I mean, I, I wonder if COVID kind of made people want some more face-to-face, -face, you know? Maybe. Like, they, they were so sick of always being only online, especially when, like, they were also only seeing people from school online. It was probably nice to finally see people in person. So our plan was to have a little uh, interview sesh right. with the kid. In fact, we drove by there late last Saturday night, mm -hmm. meant to, didn't. Yeah. We and were, now it's back to school. Yeah. We just wanted some Mickey D's. We, yeah. we were in our sloppy clothes and didn't feel like yeah, no. talking to people. <laughs> And now I'm kind of glad because if they're carrying shotguns, what the hell? Yeah, what the heck, dude? I I asked somebody about it, and she said, because she posted on Facebook, I'm always mm -hmm. scared to go there. So I, I, I asked her and said, I, I don't want to give away who she is, but we're mm -hmm. good enough friends for me to message her. And she said, so there's always big groups of teenagers there in the parking lot, revving their engines at each other, arguing with each other, and the behavior inside the store is all over the place. They have no manners or respect for anybody. Wow. I don't know if you saw the viral video a couple years ago of an all-out brawl that happened in the M and McDonald's. Okay, so we're, are we latecomers here to this information? Wow, I guess we are. I've tried driving through the parking lot, and really, they're just standing in the middle of the parking lot in massive groups, skateboarding and sitting all over each other's trucks like it's greased lightning. <laughs> Super aggressive with each other and with complete strangers. Honestly, uh, I've gone there. There's been rival gangs of kids just daring each other to do something. Okay. What? I'm sorry. I just want to point <clears throat> I love that. Go grease lightning in your burden up the quarter I know. mile. I love grease that. Lightning, go <laughs> grease I love that her example of hoodlums is grease lightning. <laughs> she may have watched. Why is Grease the one Mormon approved movie? <laughs> no, the no Princess Bride it's, is the other one. Oh, okay. There's two. <laughs> well, but I just don't understand why Grease is in there because yeah, right? you know it ain't no bragging. She's a real. <laughs> wagon yeah right doesn't exactly seem like <laughs> well i think it's that um one of the characters has to deal with the consequences of premarital sex and is shamed for it that's true that seems like it's right Ross. up their alley yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. there are worse things i could do and frankly we all know that mormons love a good musical <laughs> yeah so yeah no i've just been fascinated <laughs> Why that gets a pass. <laughs> right, right. Also, John Travolta in that is just so handsome. So I know? think, <laughs> it, even though this is the wrong time of year to do it, I think we need to dig deeper. So we'll either <laughs> going to table it for the year, yeah, for the season, and we'll get back to you probably next June. <laughs> uh, or you know, if, we, if we happen to stop by, and I guess we're feeling brave. Right. We'll, uh, we'll let you know exactly what's going on there. Yeah. <laughs> 